Well, hello everyone. I'm Coyote Jack, and I I already knew these fuckers what they are. But hey, it was just a matter of time until the lamestream lying media actually slip out, and they slip, they slip out, and then there you have this. Journalists are asking Ukrainian soldiers to hire dead Nazi patches. New York lies, admits. Actually, I, I love how they are not calling this place. New York Times, New York lies. Because, damn, I was watching the, that article. Actually, they broke. And they were like, oh, this, this, is your, this logo just brings some bad side to these people. I like. You are just a fascist leftist motherfucker protecting another fascist leftist motherfucker. Quinky, 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 quinky. <laughs> and let's continue. The New York Times has been forced to very, very belatedly deal with something which has long been obvious. And no to many independent analysts and media outlets, but which has been carefully shielded from the mainstream masses in the West for obvious reasons. The surprising Monday Times headline said the, that they ne not see symbols on Ukraine from lines highlight thorny issues of history. The acknowledgement comes after literally years of primarily in the journalists and geopolitical commentators pointing out that yes indeed Ukrainian military and paramilitary groups, especially those uh, operating in the East since 2014 at least, have a serious, well, that ideology problem. Ah, <laughs> ah seriously. Imagine being one of the... Yeah, just call them. Every single time you see a, a one of those accounts, with the Ukrainian flag on the display and on social media, uh, when everyone is when every single time they are giving a, sh a dog shit opinion, just tell them, oh yeah, he's the Nazi supporter. Seriously, make them cringe so hard of their poorly decisions that they are just pushed to the stream and do some uh, display more derangement stuff because yeah, they deserve it. Look at how uh, look at how they are uh, who are they supporting right now. <sighs> this has been exhaustively documented again going back years, but the report which merely tries to downplay it is a thorny issue because yeah, they try to downplay and whitewashing New York lies. You know who it is. Of Ukraine unique history suggests that real problem of Western PR is fundamentally that it is being displayed so openly. Ukrainian troops are being asked to cover those symbols, please. Please cover those symbols, please. As Matt Taibbi sarcastically keep it in commenting on the report. Oh. <laughs> ah, yeah, that was a good one. Uh, the authors of the New York Lies report been begin by expressing frustration over the optics of the symbols. Frustration for what? You are just one of them. You, you share the same ideology, so what's the fucking problem, you fucking hypocrite piece of shit? Symbols being displayed so proudly on many Ukrainian soldiers' uniforms, suggesting that many journalistic photographs which have, in some cases, been featured in newspapers and media outlets worldwide, typically coupled with generally positive articles on Ukraine military, are merely unfortunate or misleading, the New York Lies report says. Uh, they are just coping so far. They are going to sniff their own farts out of their, in their stomach. And their intestines exploding of their all sniffing in the cope. Oh man, they are just circle jerking. <sighs> there you have it, folks. In each photograph, Ukrainians in uniform wore patches featured symbols that were made notorious for the World War II Germany and have since become part of the iconography of far right hate groups, they say. 
I'm going to say this already because New York lies, they are just tripping up their own cope. World War II Germany, the guy with the funny mustache was a socialist. He was a socialist. He was leftist. The whole Germany of that era were all leftists. Seriously. Seriously. I just I just hate this this plane of fucking gas line in front of New York lies. And I just just to end this, here's the the uh, sub battalion. Yeah of course. The S Bermatch and the Black Sun symbol. Natural Cell has been ha, has in the recent past been forced to delete image. Of course, it's NATO. NATO from this tweet. NATO quickly deleted a tweet yesterday that featured a photo of a Ukrainian soldier wearing the neon Nazi black sun patch. Remember where constantly thought that the neo Nazis in Ukraine are in an insignificant French. And if you point to it, you are a Putin's touch or worse. There you have it. This is the this is the U.S. This is the U.S. financial this, and the, the Schrodinger New York lies. Also, in which newspapers correctly described as Ukrainian neo-Nazi paramilitary organization in 2019 is now called a pro-democracy group of modern rebels. Uh, and here we are, there is more, there is more, they are just dunking on the New York lies. That's pretty much everything, I hope you really have a good day.